perfect lemon squares. Catherine next door could never compete with these. Who could that be? Orson's at work. you lost. Well, I certainly have never seen you in this neighborhood before. Oh, did you know the Johnsons down the street? The Johnsons on third? The Johnsons in the neighboring county? I'm sorry dear, I simply don't know what Johnsons you belong to. Never heard of them. Well, that's okay. You look like you've had a journey to get here, all the way to Asteria Lane. Why don't you come in? Would you like to telephone your parents, girlfriend, boyfriend, perhaps? Let me get the phone for you. We have a rotary dial phone. Have you seen these before? Yes, they have blue plastic now. It's definitely better than those old, dull, dreary, black, heavy lead phones we used to use, isn't it? My husband, he's a dentist, and he has to make house calls sometimes, so when they need him after hours, my husband just go ahead and picks up the phone, dial the number. It's that simple. You don't even need an operator to collect anymore. Oh, yeah, back in the day when you had to connect with an operator, which is the worst, but would you like me to dial for you? I could do that. I have to see if there's a dial tone first. Excuse me, one moment. The dial tone. Okay, I will let you talk. Okay. Now, what is the number? journey. You should see them. They've got dirt all over their face. Uh, excuse me. I will have my husband, who is a dentist, call you right back. That is no way to speak to a lady or this person in front of me. I am so sorry. Who was that? Oh, well, you are not being picked up by that person. When my husband is home, he will drive you home. Oh, you poor thing. May I feel your head? lemon squares, brownies, or an apple pie. They're all freshly baked. You have to eat first, and then we'll clean up this, and you almost look like you have a little bit of swelling. Does that, uh, does that hurt? Oh, you poor thing. Let me get you a warm plate of apple pie. The milkman should be here any minute, so you can have a nice fresh glass of milk. Homemade, of course, yes. You never had homemade apple pie. Oh, I'm so sorry. You poor thing. Here. Why don't you have the first bite to say ah? Uh. Uh. 
chew, chew, chew. I might have a bite as well. Mm. An apple pie might be my favorite thing in the whole world. Have another bite. Say ah. Ah, but nice and big. you ever had. Good. Well, safe room. I have 11 squares and brownies. Hmm. I'm absolutely decadent. Who said you can't have pie before dinner? Did your mother say that? Well, your mother obviously doesn't know what you go through. When you're hungry, you need to eat. Because if you wait till dinner, you may be sneaking food, hiding food, binging food. It's important to eat when you're ready. No worries. Your secret's safe to me. You know where I live. You could always come back and have an apple pie any time of day. I'm always baking them fresh. So, if you don't mind, I'd like to clean off a little bit of the dirt on your face. Nothing crazy. a chiffon scarf. Have you had this before? You've never felt chiffon on your face? Well, it's a different experience, let me tell you. Now, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna just kind of clean you up a little. Could you explain, if it's not too much to ask, I suppose, what happened? right in here. Does that hurt? Oh, look at me. I'm so sorry. You're actually a little swollen, my. fear for the future. Maybe a nice cold compress might take the swelling down. Let me just hold your face for one minute. I don't understand how the swelling would have happened. I have a cold compress right here. It's just got a little ice in it. Just hold it right there. <sighs> Poor thing. Well, I suppose you don't have any clothes to change into. Oh, that's, that's Ron, our milkman. Ron, go ahead and bring it in. Hi, Ron. This is a new friend of mine, Ron. Yes. Are those milks nice and icy cold? Great. Would you like an icy cold milk? How much do I owe you, Ron? Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. No, my husband is not home, but I do have my friend here, so next time, Ron, I can give you a tip for your generosity. Thanks, Ron. That's Ron. He always
always delivers our glass nice and cold first. And sometimes I don't even have to pay. I mean, it's not what you think. I definitely give him something for his trouble. Oh, believe me, it is the kindness, the pleasure is all mine. You see, quality of this milk. It's because it's first and fresh. The Scavos. They get their milk last, and let me tell you, it curdles a little. I've had it. I would never let my own children drink out of there. Here's your milk. Oh, I think you need a straw. You've never drank it out of a straw. You drink straight from the glass. I've never heard such things. Tell me, where did you grow up again? As always, no judgment. You don't remember. Well, hold that compact just a little bit more right there. Maybe you could ice your brain. Perhaps you've suffered some memory loss from whatever trauma you've been through. We got these down at Frosty's. You've never been to Frosty's. How old are you? You don't go out to eat. Get a burger. You never had a Coca-Cola product. This is what a Coca-Cola looks like. You don't know tin. Oh my. Okay. Well, here. This is how you use a straw. You put it in the glass bottle and you just sip. May I? Raise your chin a little bit and sip. Swallow. And swallow. My. No one's ever taught you how to drink before properly. Hmm. You poor thing. <coughs> Ron's milk always tastes the best. <laughs> it is amazing. on the telephone. It never rings during day hours. Shall I answer it? Pardon me for being rude. Hello, this is the Vandy Camp residence. Oh. I know what I didn't catch their name. Yes, of course. Um, could I give you a call back, or could you ring me back in about 30 seconds? Oh, no, I just have some pot roast in the oven. I don't want it to burn. Call me back in a minute, and I can get you the address. Thank you. Is there someone looking for you? Would you feel safe having someone come pick you up? I think, I think it's safer if my husband, Dr. Hodge, a dentist, 
very well known will take you home. Okay. Now when they ring back, I'm going to tell them simply they have the wrong person. Okay. You're safe here. Yes, hello. This is actually the Solis house down the street. The Vandicams, they're dead actually. Please don't call this number again, thank you. You do not have to worry about that person. But I just don't understand. You look nice. What happened? Why are you running from home? I see. Okay, we'll figure it out once my husband gets back. Maybe you won't have to go back there. We can find a safe space for you. Would you like to watch a 3D movie? 3D movie. It's a moving picture, but you see the images as if they're right in front of you, as if you could touch them. We have a 3D movie projector there my son loves to watch. All you gotta do is put these on. Here, let me take that compact from you. I'll fill this up with some ice. To bring some brownies to watch with the movies and my husband should be home any minute would you like a brownie they're chocolatey and delicious my husband loves these brownies mm. Save here. I want you to know you're very special. I may not know why you're running away, but I know that you are meant to be here for a reason, and I will protect you. And so are my friends. Okay. How old did you say you were? Well, I suppose if you're old enough to go off to war, you're old enough to have a little something stronger to drink. I like to have just a little bit before my husband comes home. of wine before? No. Well, it's not a naughty drink by any means. Jesus drank it. Do you know Jesus? Good. If you didn't know Jesus, we might have a problem. Would you like some of this Jesus juice? Great. I'll pour us a glass. Only the finest china, always. Well, my daughter will be drinking out of plastic. Oh, yeah. Well, she's at school, and I'm assuming you're not at school for a reason. Can I ask, or is it personal? we keep this for Mr. Hodge because, well, you know, I used to have a problem myself. I wouldn't run away from home or anything. 
something like that, I would just, you know, go out for a social hour and, well, I'd wind up in the dumpster. Sometimes he'd find me in the trash can. And it was always after I had, well, the devil's juice. It wasn't this, but people like to think it's the same. the movie and I'll check on the lemon squares and I'll give Mr. Hodge a call and see see where we can take you. Great. It's just going on behind me. Just put on those glasses. distressed. I think they're running away from something or they may have committed a crime. I'm not entirely sure. But they can't return home and we cannot tell the police by any means. Well, we'll have to find a way to help them. Perhaps you could stay at your office for the night. Sure, sure. Yes, please come home. It's very Lemon bars. They're freshly made lemon bars. You never had a lemon bar. Oh, well, you must try mine. Mine are simply the best. Here, say, uh. Oh, I just love seeing the delight of people trying my lemon bars. you a nice haircut before we take you somewhere safe. Mm. I got my own hair. You don't trust me? It's no bother at all. I think a little trim will cut you, get you up nice. Okay. Let me just... seen hair this long before? Is there a reason you keep it so long? You're from the future. Oh, are you sure you didn't hit your head too hard? I don't know what Vietnam is. Susan, what are you doing? No, you 
I mean, I'll have my scissors. Who are you? <gasps> Susan, you cannot call the police. Do not use my phone. Mike, if you touch him... I have a microphone. And if you touch him, I will be forced to blunt hit you. And you are in my home so I can see you break in entry. Who are you? Do you know these people? These are my 